Hello YouTube, this is RC67 coming back at you. And I got a few more cars to uh, showcase right now. The set of cars I'm gonna put together uh, in this video is the Matchbox Series 1 Muscle Car Collection. And this series came out uh, late 90s, early 2000s. This was a set of cars in 143rd scale that uh, Matchbox was selling to um, like Hallmark and some exclusive dealers to distribute across the country. They made two series, series one, series two. This is series one. I don't have any cars in series two. Those are cars in the muscle car series. I wasn't a huge fan of them. I mean, they're pretty cool. Um, but these are the ones I was really going after because these are more of the, my favorite cars and the cars that I had friends and family as well as myself had growing up as a kid and just really enjoyed this line of muscle cars. So the first up on the turnstile is a 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. And it's got a lot of really cool detail. The colors, uh, like a, uh, I call it like a emerald green or a lime green. You can see the Roadrunner on the front fenders there, each side. You got your side scoops just behind the doors of the car. You got a nice little spoiler on the back. You got really cool detailed lettering on the wheels. And the nice thing is that you got uh, the details on the sides of the car where your turn signals are. The lights on the back are pretty detailed. You can even read out where it says Plymouth on the back, just above the bumper there. <clears throat> so that's the first one in this series there. And they're in no particular order. Um, it's not like I'm doing in you know order of the year or whatever. But this is just some of the cars that I've picked up in this Matchbox Series 1 muscle car line. Next up, we have a 19... 67 Pontiac GTO. Uh, this was uh, one of their earlier GTO models, but you can see the vertical headlights on it. Uh, you got the GTO down in the lower left part of the grill there, along with the turn signals. Pretty good detail on the wheels are red striped uh, rally tires, if you will. The center uh, hubcaps, those are, those are specs to the time that there. You can see in the lower left quarter panel on both the right and left side of the car. You can see GTO pretty clear. You got some nice detailing on the interior as well. The, the steering wheel has got kind of a tan color. You can see the gear shifter. The interior has that uh, a light tan color. So you, there's really pretty good detail on this car. So, uh, but this was, this was Pontiac's entry level car into the early years of the muscle cars. And the body style on this did change. I'm not familiar with all the body styles, but the body style on this one did change to the more familiar, more muscle, muscle car sleek design, if you will. Next up, one of my favorites, 1970 Chevelle SS. This is a pretty cool car. I love the color on this. It's nice and bright red. You can see the SS on the front emblem there, the big black rally stripes down the, down the hoods. Um, nice chrome on the mirrors that kind of show you the detail of the mirrors. The lettering on the tires is really cool. Just jet black interior. You can see the gear shift knob inside. Um, my neighbor growing up as a kid had this exact same car. It was in, in the exact same color. So this car, kind of special to me. I really like it. And I remember he would drive us around the neighborhood and or on Saturday afternoon before before dinner grew is he'd take all the kids down to Dairy Queen and go get ice cream. So this is this is one of my favorite cars. This car here brings back a lot of memories from when I was a kid. Uh, next up, got a 1970 uh, Cuda 440. And again, this one's got some really nice detailing. Oh, there's a little bit of styrofoam on the front bumper there. Uh, you got some nice detailing on the front. You can see the turn turn lights below. The, the grill is nice and detailed. The black um, hood scoop there uh, for the cowl induction or whatever. The paint's beautiful paint job on this. You see the 440 and then just the black goes across the back fender there. You can see the turn signal lights. The interior is detailed, very, very detailed. Gear shifters, the whole, whole, whole package. Just a very detailed car, beautiful car fast muscle car of the of its time in this in the late 60s early 70s there so this is another one of my favorite cars i like this car because it's a really bright yellow it's just a beautiful beautiful car next up 1970 mustang boss 429 this was the generation two in mustang 
So they had the Boss 302, which was in 1968. This has got a lot of detail. Uh, front grille there with the Mustang logo. You've got the turn signals. You can see the Boss 429 on the side. Uh, front fender there as it's coming around. Louvers on the back, the spoiler on the back. Uh, great detail on the interior. Really just a cool car all around. As it's coming around here, you're gonna see the back of the trunk lid. It says Mustang on it. You'll see a little logo in the middle there. That cap will say Mustang on that. Of course, you got the classic vertical Mustang uh, lights, which is pretty cool. I love, the, I love the style of those lights there. And this is, uh, this is one of my favorite cars as well. I actually own a Mustang and it's got this same body style. So I'm kind of partial to the Mustangs as well. Last but not least, it's a 1968 Camaro SS. Camaro is also one of my favorite cars. I love this car. It's got great detailing with that red rally stripe running down the cross the front of the hood, down the sides of the car. You got SS right there on the, the grill. These are the tuck away headlights. They'll flip up when you turn them on. You got big silver chrome lettering there for your Camaro SS. The red rally stripe on the tires. The center cap and the trim ring is classic for that time, of, uh, time frame and era for this car. I love the rear taillights are nice and bright. You can see it against that black background of the car. The interior is red, very, very detailed interior with the gear shift knob, uh, your steering wheel, the, the console, center console is beautiful as well. So these are some of the cars uh, uh, that I grew up with when I was a kid, uh, muscle cars and stuff, um, and uh, cars that I, I'm really into. So this is the Muscle Car Series 1 from Matchbox. Uh, if you guys have any comments or you like the video or you want to subscribe to some of my stuff, that'd be great. I appreciate the time. This is RC67 signing off.